Hey everyone, this is Friedel Hugger, AJ Raven. I'm here with my reaction review of RuPaul's Drag Race UK season number 5, episode number 4. And as far as the mini challenge is concerned, the contestants have to get into quick drag, quick bro drag, and they have to promote this new protein shake for bodybuilders. And yeah, Raven came into the workroom and she is going to be taking their pictures and they also have to share a tagline. So let's see what happens. Michael Rule really is a fan. I love protein. S P N K. Lift heavy, swallow hard. <laughs> Naomi Carter. Mm -hmm. A street kid. Now we're mystery jokes. Mystery jokes. Fuck mystery jokes. Now we're the Nella. When it. Oh. Is she gonna make the wig off thing a thing for her? Well, it's oh, no. actually John Michael Henry Luke Michael John, but the French just call us Ham. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's uh, do some poses. Let them hear me and all, right? Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. PNK, now with even more sperm. <laughs> PNK, how much can you swallow? Okay. This. Oh, that's one way to ride a bike. A PNK. Oh, she's not even trying. How much do you go? How much do you go? Kind of similar to Gates' tagline. This is a protein drink. It builds protein in the body. Fancy looks like Mr. B on his way to an outward bound center. SVNK, drink it, but don't get it in your eye. Okay. Hey. Come for the flavor. Stay for the <laughs> Winner of today's mini yeah. challenge is Tamara Thomas. Oh. Oh. I would have given it to Ginger. Of you share your experience in the inspirational seminar called RuPaul's Disaster Class. Disaster class inspired by the master class thing. This week you'll be working in groups of three. Tamara Thomas, as the winner of today's mini challenge, you get to assign the team. Mm. First, pick two queens to be in your group. Oh. Caramel? I'll have you. And I'll have you. Oh. Oh, oh not caramel. How dare you, Tamara? That's on work. On work. It's Miss Naomi Carter, Dee Delicious, Dee Delicious. and Kate Butch. <laughs> let's, let's, let's hear this. Today we're going to be discussing work and how to turn your 9 to 5 into a 10 out of what? So, Damn. now we're going to go over three key points here. Getting work. Getting paid. And getting a grip. <laughs> so deep. Get out there and ask for opportunities. Mm -hmm. If you really want it, you'll take it. Yeah. You'll take it hard. <laughs> and I'm a big taker. And how would you summarize that for the gorgeous viewers at home? Okay, well, I've got a gorgeous little acronym for you. Oh, an acronym. We have Don't Inquire, <laughs> Lose Drag Opportunity. So that you are networking and making sure that you are getting a correct wage. Because I know for a fact when I started doing this job, girl, oh, okay. I was getting paid £30 a night. And it wasn't a lot. I know, I know. It is really, really important that you can actually invest oh. into your drag. So Where's the joke? And you pay for wigs, nails, heels, therapy. Exactly. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> you need to make sure the fee is uh. right. Because if there's no fee, there's no me. You've got to know your worth. And how would you summarize that for the gorgeous disaster class students? Yes, show us. I've got a little acronym for you. She's got an acronym, do you? Take wages and twirl. <laughs> that is me all over. Oh, 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 no. I recently learned that maybe four drinks in two hours is too many. What? Mm -hmm. That's probably why I lost my job as a brain surgeon. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the big P. Punctuality. You gotta be on time. Whether your nine to five begins at nine a.m. or nine p.m. Yeah. Like us ladies, done loads of jobs across all areas of the speculum. <laughs> you can say you've been burning the bush at both had our share of hardship. Knee injury, wig injury. I lost all my makeup skills in a house fight. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know what we 
Partying. So that tomorrow's grow. She did share that she's in an open relationship. <laughs> She actually has heels on. Where's she going? I'm feeling 
out of this world. Oh, out of this world. Space traveling, that's where she's going. I am serving Pierre Cardin retro futurism okay. with a pencil case. Probe me, probe me. <laughs> probe me. <laughs> Foundations. Hmm. Yeehaw. <laughs> I'm off to America on my Olipods, and I am looking the part. God knows I love a bit of broke back mountain, babes. Come up and see me sometime. <laughs> <laughs> that was nice. This silhouette's named Caramel. Oh. All these girls came in a little speed look. I'm Ooh. the mother chucking store. Ooh. Nice. Angel dust. <laughs> We're in Antarctica having a ball, darling. <laughs> see. Banksy. Ooh. Girls are for what? Shoplifting. <laughs> I am serving you a Swiss diplomat's wife. Oh, nice. I know nice. she just got to jet off. She's got to go. I'm very sorry. The slopes are calling. It's the Lynx effect. Yes, it is. I feel like no one can touch me on this from one. Tomorrow. Ginger Johnson. Ginger Johnson. Michael Maruli. This week, you Jordy girls did a canny job. Did the top, right? Congratulations, pets. You are the winners yeah. of this week's job. They were amazing. Each earned a coveted Brew Peter badge. <laughs> and it made us feel nervous. Tell me what was going through your mind when you were up there. I could tell that our group was kind of going down the wrong path. And I noticed from the start it actually didn't go the way it was supposed to. And even like the introduction, we didn't even get to introduce our own names. So I think that, yeah, I just really wish I could have shown you more. Thank you. Thank you. Up next, Banksy. Let's talk about oh, I feel for her now. Yeah, she thought you were funny. Do you know what I love? Wanted to step forward. Um, I think that both of them, I feel like a, a lamb to slaughter, to be honest. <gasps> a little bit. I feel like both of them have turned to me as a person who maybe has made the success of this challenge go away. Yeah, kind of. I feel a bit upset to be They alluded to that. I know the other girls alluded to the fact that there were things that you missed, but we, the audience, didn't get that you missed anything. Which I know I missed two lines. I missed the introduction, which I truly apologize for, and I messed up my own line and my own joke. I think that you have to. I did not once say one bad thing about you. You bet through us. You alluded to it. To make yourself look better. We didn't throw you under the bus, baby girl. Lamb for slaughter. Who else was was it supposed to be if not Banksy? Saying that you didn't get a chance to speak up about being the mediator. It in one way said that I was not a good mediator. Yeah. She wants to be the mediator, the host. Cool, you do it. But I know I could have done a better job. You do talk a lot, Banksy, and when we sat down immediately. Was like you okay, have you to talk a lot. I know I talk a lot, but we're talking about you right now. I you literally you said that. in your runway, missed lines happen. You did miss lines. I you missed one miss line as well. Miss you missed one. two. You said on the runway, you missed two. You were just as shit as me, babe. Maybe I was not just as shit no, as you. Was what? Was Banksy really, was better? Really, girl? Fuck off. Oh. Yeah, I don't understand. So let's make some lamb chops. The, How about that? The two you team members called Banksy out. If not by oh name, they still called her out. I just feel like I can't have made that up. It felt so strong. We were really collaborating. And it feels like that you have now brought this in as a scapegoat to say I didn't do well because yep. of me. And it's not been turned into a oh, fucking villain where I've been so Is crazy. no one going to so go and doctor her? I don't deal with conflict well. I will fight for the crowd like it's the last thing I have to do. But I will not fight other people. I'm not a fighter. We're going to see this conversation. Of course. So I would love no to hear. Contact. I think I can kind of see where she is. We all messed up, okay? Yeah, we all... Okay. I At least they got that. You, I apologize if in any way that I made you feel like I was throwing you under the bus. I think that hearing my name made me so scared to leave. Right. And I thought that mm. that was lining me up to basically lip sync and go home. Sometimes we're going to mess up in a challenge and I really was not trying to make it seem like you were why we 
did not do well. I also apologize. That's how it I came true. The only way, uh, yeah, there's no way they're gonna eliminate Caramel. It ain't happening. <laughs> She's crawling. <laughs> Is up. Okay, I think I've heard the song before. Oh, okay, Kyra. Okay. Yeah, they're keeping Caramel. Caramel. Chante is okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that was Drag Race UK, season number five, episode number four. Caramel got to stay. And I think this is like, this was the first time in the bottom though, right? But yeah, let me know what you thought of the episode down in the comment section below. And until next time, stay happy, stay safe, stay blessed. See you guys later.